Today we are next gen racing at Daytona with the Draft Master Division. Apparently it has been violent and rough this week as there has been a lot of crashes. But for 20 laps, there's no yellow flags in this division. That means we got to keep this car out of trouble. If you're a fan of the iRacing community, I recommend jumping into my Discord if you haven't already. We're approaching 400 members. There's a link in the description. I'd really appreciate if you guys clicked on that and hopped on in. That said, it's officially showtime from Daytona. We're coming from the 15th position with a 25 car field. Let's get after it, man. My work is cut out for me. I'm expecting a big crash early on, but the green flag is waving, and here we go, boys. Knock this baby a third gear. Watching in front of me, we're tucked in right behind car number five. It's such a long drive up to the front, man. I just don't know how long it's going to take for us to get there. We've really got to use our head, and will this be a single file type of race or multi-group racing? You see the outside up there just really not moving right now. They are struggling as I'm just cruising in fifth gear. Here we go, boys. Gaining some positions. Can we put it inside the top 10? Everyone on that outside groove is in trouble. I'm scared to go up there, man. They're just dead in the water. It doesn't matter how much help they get. They're just not moving at the moment. Look out. Car number five is a little sideways. Okay, okay. We're seeing the outside come back. We're seeing it come back. They're not dead in the water yet. They're making a comeback here. They're slowly charging up there, but they're getting more help as we continue as that's really the only way up to the front. You hear me preach time and time again. Go to the outside if you want to move. The bottom is never a moving groove. I got to do something, man. We are bleeding positions on this bottom groove. I got to go high. But should we wait out the big crash? We know it's going to happen. The big one will happen here today at Daytona. And if you're on the outside, there's really nowhere to hide. Look out up in front of me, man. These bumps are getting bigger. But one thing I'm noticing, everything is pretty calm. Everyone's racing with with respect. I haven't seen three wide all day, which is very surprising. Whoa, that 22 car, man. Joy Legato is scaring the field up there. He just got a little bit sideways. Now the 12, baby, going around. Oh, boy. I'm going to let you back in line, bud. I cut you a break there. I don't think we need to be around this guy at all, man. That was terrifying. We have an opportunity to move high. I think I'm going to go up there and take it, boys, to the outside. We're jumping up to the danger zone, but I think we have to, man. I think it's our only choice. So right now, the whole field is two by two by two, all the way from first to the tail end of the field. I know I'm going to jinx myself when I say this, but I'm very surprised. We have not, as a field, died, and we're seven laps into this thing. But look at this. We're gaining positions on the outside. The four is gonna come up, but we're gonna get around him as well. We're gonna put this baby inside the top 10 before you know it, man. Another position in the bank. Come on, keep him coming. Outside Groove has made it all the way to the fourth position. We're seeing a lot of guys block it. Look, corner number eight's going around the 22. Is around down the front straightaway, and they're wrecking behind us. What are you doing? That was very smart, pushing to the corner. So this really backed up the outside groove as we had to check up right there. 12 remaining when we get back to the line. Honestly, it's not a bad decision just to let them all crash. Look at how bad the bottom groove just checked up. The outside just went to the lead, and we're going to put this baby inside the top 10. Whoa, boy, there's some blocking going on up front. You don't want to see it, man. But there's a lot of blocking. Now, this is going to kill the inside. Everyone on the inside is dead. There's going to all be positions again here, but that inside is going to come back at some point. We're going to see a lot of guys jump down to the bottom here, down the back straight away, and that's exactly what they're doing. Three of them, maybe four of them, four of them jumping down to the bottom. Big shot from the car behind me. This race is coming to me, man. We're not being super aggressive. We're just being smart. As we're approaching the halfway marker, we're putting ourselves in contention to win this thing, and that's the exact plan we went with here. Now, I really got to get tight to the rear bumper of car number four, because I got to shove this guy. It's a little difficult because I have zero help behind me. Help is coming, though, and we're going to the front boys here we go nice shot going into turn number three that was a huge hit right there oh boy here we go inside maybe wrecking to the outside they are wrecking behind me whoa boy it's the big one behind me
Now still shoving the outside. We're up to position number four. Most of the field is dead. I think we have about six to seven cars in this lead pack. If we play it smart with 10 laps remaining, we're going to get a top five for sure and potentially a win. Unfortunately, that outside just isn't going to hold up. So I'm going to jump down to the bottom because I know we're going to go single file. I've been in this position with the Arca cars. Nobody wants to go double file when there's not this many cars remaining. We're going to have to ride it out till we get the white flag. With the lap traffic ahead, they're probably going to jump into our lead pack so we got to keep that in mind obviously there's some tempers in the chat some drivers are getting pretty frustrated we got lap traffic to the outside he's gonna pull and tuck in behind this pack that's going to put a total of seven cars in this lead pack with one of them being a lap down and the chat is still very frustrated as you can imagine count them down we got five laps to go at daytona it looks like the second position just got sideways and the leader is blocking they're pulling the pin now i think it's a little bit too early but we're already getting racy but now is the time you come up with a game plan you decide what you're going to do do you make the move with three remaining two remaining or on the final lap the guy behind me just called this the chad pack what you think of it we kind of are man we're up here just like the cool kids just up here chilling driving this thing out to the end being smart but we're probably gonna all die when we get the white flag regardless guy behind me shoving me man he's ready to go here goes the first one we got the first car ducking out and he has help coming behind him i think i'm going boys here we go to the outside who's gonna go with us man who's gonna go with us i'm gonna tuck back in set up some momentum we got lap scores ahead next time by will be the white flag i know the guy behind me is gonna go but we gotta set up some kind of run we can't just take it whenever we feel like it we're coming to the white flag i'm going boys i'm going we got so much lap traffic ahead meaning we're going to go three wide but we may pick up a draft off of them here we go going for the third position and we're gonna take it easily we just cleared the third position put it up a p3 back down to the bottom we got to manipulate the lap traffic put it up to third now we got more lap scores oh the leader may have just got turned boys here we go oh the three's gonna slam the door on me I'll let him back in the line the white flag is waving that was our opportunity man now do i wait and see what the three core is gonna do they're pulling to the outside i was not able to block it with the lap traffic ahead i may be a sitting duck right here i gotta hope i get some help man i gotta hope i get some help and if they wreck each other we're in a fantastic position but right now i'm just getting side drafted and pulled back this is not working for me boys this is not working for me we are the odd man out everyone went high now help is coming behind me but they're pretty far back there boys going in a turn number three and four for the final time we set ourselves up in a good position just did not block it i can hope for a crash here on the final lap it very well can happen we got some big momentum big momentum here we go i think we're gonna get to car number 13 potentially if they stay side by side maybe there'll be a wreck up front there's a lot of blocking here ahead on me a lot of blocking ahead on me at the line not the result i wanted but i'll definitely take it position number six out of that whoo what a race man what a race i screwed up there on the final lap that was all on me i screwed up i should have went high and blocked that maybe i should have been more aggressive when the leaders got tangled up but hey we came from position number 15 to p6 this was the big one we're gonna see car number 91 get turned by the nine but pay attention because the eight gave the nine a big shot there and unfortunately that killed a lot of them there was a lot of innocent victims involved in this one that was nearly the entire field here at daytona that got involved they're wrecking all the way down on the apron they blocked the track around here with that one now before we end today's video i'd like to thank my patreon members who i go i racing with every friday night for the dlb tv racing league appreciate you guys so much for that the schedule and league information is on the screen now also shout out to my patreon vip members my tier 2 members chtv christian elliott dj Suschema, derek dorsey and toe maters now if you're interested in joining the patreon you can click on the join button down below or click on the patreon link in the description it was a fun one here today it was daytona we got out of it alive thank god which is not very often here at daytona but but we got out of here alive and that's all you can ask for and i'll catch you all in the next video